Lisa's known to many of you, I'm sure. She's a force for good on council whenever she can get the numbers. Yeah. Now, it's not only Lisa on council, but I was looking at some archival material. Lisa goes back a long way. She has a long and proud history of environmental activism in our area going back to the 1980s. So a big hand, a big welcome please for Councillor Lisa Lindley. And you can see how far I go back because I need help to get up now. <laughs> uh, I've written some notes, but I'm uh, last to speak, and so therefore I thought I would just respond to what has come before. One of those is that we had our mayor here earlier, and isn't that fantastic? Yay! Uh, I was proud to be here in 2000, I think it was, when Mayor Wayne Richards was here and expressed similar sentiments. and. Harry said, I try to be a force for good whenever the numbers are there and I can I say, we have got some wonderful people in this community who come and serve their community on council. And this council in particular is fantastic. We've got some great leaders there who have really got ethics and moral standing and we should be very pleased that that is the case. We need... We need good leadership. The leadership on this issue is undoubtedly coming from the people and from science. I did my first uh, degree about 40 years ago <laughs> and people were saying at that time, the earth is an ecosystem, it is interconnected. You cannot do and change a thing in this place without it having effects in another place. Uh, Drusy mentioned the tipping point. We were talking about that back then. It's not just about carbon dioxide, it's also about pollutants, other pollutants. Methane, nitrous oxide, fluoro, uh, fluorinated gases, etc. It's about us polluting the environment, our planet, since the Industrial Revolution. It is about us not caring about the home that we share, and not understanding that that home is an organism and everything is interconnected. Why are we in this problem? One of the most dangerous and wonderful aspects of democracy is the right of every person to be free to think for themselves. In effect, to be as wise or as stupid as they wish. <laughs> Now freedom is a wonderful thing and we must cherish it. But as every mature person knows, freedom is not the only value in our lives. We also have society, we have interconnectedness, we have sharing. That is what seems to be lacking from the thinking of those people who have been called climate change deniers, fossil fools. <laughs> Hollow men. These people are acting out of self-interest. They are ignoring the, what connects all of us. They are ignoring the fact that we owe our economy, our prosperity, our lives to the planet, the resources and the interconnectedness of that planet on which we live and which we share as our home. <laughs> Drucy also talked earlier about, and Angela talked earlier about um, the benefits that might come from uh, adopting action, real action, to address climate, the threat of climate change. I love the particular cartoon where a guy's on the stage and he's listing all the benefits of climate change and some idiot in the, in the crowd says, but what if it's all a hoax and we make a better world for nothing? <laughs> I like the fact that our leaders, slow as they are to, to get up to the, to the mark, are in fact getting up to the mark. I like the fact that they are connecting economic imperatives or, and actions with environmental imperatives. I like the fact that we are starting to realise that even if climate change is a hoax, which it is not, the things that we do to take action on this matter will make a better life for us all. 
we will have a better life with energy independence, with recycled uh, energy supplies, with local jobs, with uh, local skills de developed, with less uh, travel, co becoming connected to our neighbours, clean water, clean air, clean food. These things are all basic values that we w want for ourselves and hopefully we want for our children. When we think about what it is that we are going to do, agreed, we can say this is too hard, we cannot do it. But think of all the things in the, rest, in, in the history of humankind that we have thought have been too hard and yet we did them because we needed to. We need to have this change of, of consciousness to accept that not only need we do these things, we want to do them. We will, we will bless ourselves for having done them in the future. It is time for us, yes, to contact our politicians, to make our voices heard, and to, had some great quotes here, Everybody except the psychopath wants to feel part of the common good. <laughs> we are all sane. Tell your politicians, tell your denialists to stop denying us our ambition for a better life. Do not tell us that it is too hard to do these things. Do not tell us that two degrees is the best we can do. For two degrees reduction in warming or a limit of two degrees simply means that we've got 50% chance of saving the planet. Let us go for one and a half degrees as has been encouraged by the most vulnerable countries. Do not tell us this cannot be done. Tell us the inspirational story of how we will make this transition backed by our knowledge and experience of which we have innumerable amounts so long as we share. The electrification of vehicles and heating, the decarbonisation of electricity, the depollution of our atmosphere, our water and our foods, new frontiers in electric efficiency and may I say I think Barack Obama has done a wonderful thing in this last week to relate terrorism with climate change. To acknowledge that if we act on climate change, we will in fact be taking away the very reason that the disaffected get att attracted to violence. These are not things that are natural to humanity and I refuse to believe that they are. Thank you all for coming here. We are maybe a few hundred in number here, but rest assured there are many more. 62% I'm oh, sorry, in the last two years 16% more Australians have come to realise that urgent action is needed on climate change so that now 62% agree with us. Tell your politician that we want action. Do not criticise the media, be the media. Speak your voice, speak your piece and, and uh, speak the truth. Do not criticise the politician. Speak to the politician, contact them, tell them what your truth is and demand that common sense be heard. Thank you.